And over on the other side, Sean. And it's another, that way every another, night. Another great game for the Pacific 10. Thursday, Stanford, Arizona, good one. Cal and Arizona State coming down to the wire. Same thing here as Grab misses, but goes and gets Grab. Well, he wants it again. You bet he does. You bet he does. I mean, is he kind of like the go-to guy here in the second half? He's made big shot after big shot. He gets the rebound on the one he misses. Buddy, you like it. California. 13 of his 19 have come in the second half. Six, six, seven. And he can he can look at the floor. He can make plays. He can shoot on the outside. And you know the thing I really like about him? The bigger the moment the more he wants the ball. And that's the sign of a great, you know, sometimes guys score early in the game. This guy wants it late in the game. Give me the rock, I'm gonna make something happen. You know, we showed you that earlier. Great work by our production crew to show you the big shot at UCLA. Big shot on Thursday night out of the corner. This guy does want it late and Cal with that lead. And remember, they're taking on an Arizona team. They know how to close as well. 17 times coming into this game, they had the lead at the half and went on to win games. They were up 48 at the half, but right now trailing by three. They have yet to lose when they lead at the half, and that's a kick by Crab. And Arizona will keep possession. And they, the shot clock was at 14. They bump it up to 15. Here's a timeout situation. Well, for Sean Miller's team, they're done. They've got the basketball right now. No more timeouts. Uh, it sure seems like it's got to be Derek Williams' time, although Momo Jones is a guy in the moment. He wants the ball, but they got it in the right guy's hands now. Williams. Offensive foul is called against Derek Williams. Shot clock was winding down. They did get it to Williams. Get on his right hand. There's, well, who is it again? I mean, come on. Does this guy do everything? It looked like it was Crab again. And he may have been moving a little bit. Might have been a fortuitous call, but it looked like he was there to me. He, he was there on top. Under a minute to play in this game. Now you go back inside. Harper Camp, Gutierrez. Got to go to your money, guys. Camp toward the basket. I was surprised he threw it out. 14 is out. Camp! There it is. Well done. In to out to in. A player in a game like this. Come on. I mean, is it getting any better than this? It's unbelievable. And Camp's got to love it, but great decision by Gutierrez to get it back to him. And that time, the defender, Hill, playing him to that left hand. So Camp took it with the offhand, his right hand. Made the shot, missed the free throw. 40 seconds remaining. And Cal leads 75-70. This is Momo Jones. He loves the big big moments as well. Must score here. This one's got to go for, for Arizona in the timeout. No, they don't have any timeouts. Nope. They got none left. Kevin Parham. Well, that was huge. Parham with a deep one, and that was a contested three. Now, you know, if you're Arizona, in my opinion, you got, you got a foul here. I think you got to take a foul. John Clock is off. Almost a steal. And a foul is called. And it goes against Derek Williams. And that is the fifth foul. That is huge for Arizona. Derek Williams, a 12-point night, 18 rebounds in this one. That's the big number. But the Bears did a good job against him. Five of eight from the floor. Still plenty of time for, for Arizona. Now, they're going to need a little bit of help, obviously, from the Bears who have not been automatic of late from the foul line. So Williams really didn't have much of a choice. Would have been better, obviously, for somebody else to foul. But when you're inside of 25 seconds, he just tried to go after the ball and committed the foul and fouls out. And it's the point guard, Brandon Smith, who was fouled on that play near midcourt. And he will get the free throws, and he is just a 63% free thrower, which I don't like for point guards, because they're going to have the ball in their hands late in games. you got to be better than a 63%. But Brandon Smith... You know, since the departure of Gary Franklin, who left the team earlier this year, really has stepped in to give the Bears all they wanted. And his assistant turnover ratio is really high. He didn't get that one down, so there's still plenty of life for Arizona. 
And in my opinion, the Cats, even if he makes six, the Cats still don't need a three. They can take a driving two. You're down three on the Wildcats, and Mike Montgomery's going to take a timeout now and talk about it. So the defense will get a chance to discuss what they want to do and how they should handle this circumstance. And for Sean Miller, he's able to get his club together and figure it out. Now, you don't, so you just said you don't need a three. I don't think you need a three if you're Arizona. I think Sean Miller's probably going to talk. Now, obviously, if you get penetration and a kick and you've got a wide open one, you're going to take it. And, and you look at the Pac-10 standings, Washington lost today. UCLA sitting at 7-3. and three. They, beat, they beat St. John's today, which is a great non-conference win, in my opinion. Really a good resume win for UCLA. So you see California at 6-4. and four. California gets back at the NCAA pitcher, in my opinion. They would have won four in a row on the homestand. It would have been five in a row overall. And they get right to, it's a signature win. They're beating a nationally ranked Arizona team. Team. This is a game California desperately needs as they got to find a way here to seal the deal and close it. And in the last couple of weeks, we've seen how many quality teams are on the Pac-10. Washington stumbling night after night. Cal making a move up. Arizona atop it. Well, they've got to look up right now and see themselves. Hold on. They bring the ball in, and immediately the officials blow the whistles. Tony Padilla didn't like something. I, I think the shot clock, I think the game clock, in my opinion, may have started prematurely. Okay. And I think Tony was right on it. And they're going to they're going to reset it right now back to where it was, 21-9. Yeah, it started, it started three seconds early. That's a great home court advantage if you can get away with that. And oh, 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 oh. on Mark Curry, Sanders, Price, and, and foul. And, and the foul call. to give Arizona props and Momo Jones man of the moment he made you know he's got a kind of habit of making big big shots in the clutch you remember a year ago he did it against Stanford and Momo Jones right here and there was a little bit of contact but you kind of look at Momo sit or he made a huge play and gets a chance to tie it remember what he did at Stanford I remember I was sitting there a year ago in a hotly contested game Jones after Stanford. After that was a block by Derek Williams. A great block. Look at Momo. Going to drive it all the way down. The bank is open, and he got it down. But a huge shot for Momo and the Arizona Wildcats to win at Stanford. He's had the big game Thursday night at Stanford. It makes a big shot here. Speaking of big, how about this free throw? With 16.6 seconds remaining. That's how you do it. One dribble and let fly. This game is tied at 76. Right, now, if you're California, you obviously play for the last shot. And you do not want to give Arizona a chance to recover. Gutierrez on this pocket pick. Can't, can't finish. Ball loose. Arizona, no timeouts for the win. No he almost, I'll tell you what. That shot was a lot closer than you suspect. It was right on the money, just a little bit short. Camp had a great loss, just couldn't put it home. Wow, what a finish to this. Uh, this is not a time you're going to blow the whistle. Harper, and you could probably ask him time and time again, and it looked like he may have been fouled on a rebound. Look on the rebound when Harper Camp goes up. Was there contact? Yeah, but aggressiveness, you do not blow the whistle in that situation. Let the players decide. This was close. Look at this long one. A little short, but right on it. That was right on target, and it drew some netting. But all it does is means that we'll all stick around for a little longer. Five more minutes of overtime basketball coming. California, Arizona, in a game that has gone back and forth. And, well, for Cal, again, it's another one of those Pac-10 games. They have had six of their games decided by five points or fewer or overtime. Well, now you can make it seven of those games. But let's not forget, both teams are shorthanded. This game going on in overtime. When this game is over, 
Don't turn away. We got a great one coming up on the hilltop. We got Santa yeah, Clara no and clicking. USF. No clicking. Just stay no. on it. Stay on it because you got USF and Santa Clara coming up next. Yeah, from one Let's delay that another. game. Tell them to delay. Tell yeah. them to go, go back and warm up for a while. We got five more minutes here. Exactly. A great one here. We'll have a great one coming up straight away. But as we start the overtime session here, Dan, you've got Cal without Mercury Sanders Price, and he's done on fouls. Arizona, they're without Derek Williams, he's fouled out. Well, and a, a pivotal player for California to start the second half is Bok Bok, who's, who's jumping center right now. He's going to have to give the Bears a little bit of life inside. And Arizona, they have made this comeback without De Derek Williams late in the game, who fouled out. Cal had played a lot of zone defense in this one. And they start the overtime in a man-to-man. -man. This is Bok Bok on defense. Momo Jones, he hit the big yeah, and, runner. And it looks like Momo wants to, wants to just continue and be the guy. Yeah. He, he looks like he's going to try to take it over. Well, that was a high elbow. He missed it. Parham offensive rebound. Then he puts Arizona up. Oh. Got to get bodies on people if you're California. That's Kevin Perrin's game. He's an offensive dynamite rebounder and did a beautiful job again to get that turn and put it back in. Perrin, one of the bench players who is providing some help. He's a double-figure scorer at 14. Ooh, Crab wanted the three. Takes it. I don't know if Alan Crab's going to be denied. I mean, he definitely wants the ball. He's showing that he wants to be more than just a top freshman of the Pac-10. He wants to be with the elite players now. Big issue for California. They've got to find a way to get it off the glass on misses. Momo pocket picked and a foul on the drive to the basket. Again, Momo Jones, and, and definitely a foul. That was a good call. Definitely a reach that time, and Momo Jones will get to the foul line. Brandon Smith reaching around. Also, Bach Bach was there. And second personal on Smith, and free throws will come. Jones is going to the cup. He's going to get the free throws. And remember, Jones, an 85% free throw shooter. Well, they hit the free throw that tied it after hitting that tough runner over the top of Mark Curry, Sanders Bryson near the end of regulation. I think a guy like Momo Jones kind of relishes in the moment. I mean, the more you scream and yell at him, you know, he's going, now, this is nothing. We do this at Rucker Park all the time. I mean, you can scream and yell. It doesn't bother me. You're right. And for a guy who was player of the week and shooting it well, 17 points a game and 71% from the floor when he was player of the week. But he's kicking big moments to hit shots. As Arizona retakes the lead and tries to change it. Well, how about the second half for Harper Camp? This guy's got 12 of his 24 in the second half of the time. Well, Harper's got a myriad of shots in there. I mean, you got to remember, the guy is not huge around the basket. He's 6'8", but he plays like someone much bigger, and he's just got a great knack of getting in there and drawing contact and finding a way to finalize. So camp to the foul line to try to complete a three-point play. They, they took Momo Jones out on the last sequence for defense. Now for offense, they bring number 12, Momo Jones, right back in the game again. So a chance to complete the three-point effort. 25-point game for Camp. Gutierrez has 24. 22 for Allen Crabb. Well, Gutierrez has been on 24 for a while. And he had 24, in my recollection, with about six minutes to go in the game. But it's been crabbed down the stretch for California. Now let's see if the Bears stay in the zone or go, man, they're going to stay in the zone. So be alert. If you're California, you've got to get to the shooters. And Hill, 44 on the other side, pretty good shooter. Perham got to the basket, and he got fouled. Perham has made three big plays at the basket. Late in regulation, and here are the overtime. Well, he, he went right at Bok Bok that time. Kevin Perra 
is efficient with his back to the rim. Now look at him inside, drawing the contact. Lockbach that time just kind of back it off. He's got to make a better effort to get out the front to try to deflect the ball and use his weight a little bit to move him away from the basket. But Parham makes a terrific play, draws the foul, and Arizona with a chance to take the lead. Richard Solomon replaces Bach Bach. Solomon 6'10", but a freshman from LA's Price High School. Parham gives Arizona the 83-82 lead. Is fatigue a factor for Cal? Sure it is. I, I don't think there's any question because it's an Iron Man five out there for the Bears. Of course, Fryson fouled out. But you're right. I mean, Gutierrez, Camp, I mean, uh, Brandon Smith, a Crab, all these guys play big minutes. Never come out of the game. And they played big minutes on Thursday night. So I think the fatigue factor, the longer this game goes, to, to me, it has to favor Arizona because Arizona's, you know, they, they got 10 guys they can play. Well, Arizona comes out to try to get two men out to trap on Gutierrez. They knock him down. And, well, this guy's been through a few of these wars, Mike Montgomery. Try to stay calm, but this is how important is this game for Cal? You're looking to get right back into the thick of it in the Pac-10 Conference. This guy really has done a remarkable job with his roster. This year. Well, think about it. California lost Jerome Randall, Player of the Year in the Pac-10, Jamal Boykin, Patrick Christopher, Theo Robertson, who made every three, Amandi Amoki. How about Max Zhang, who went to China, 7-3, never came back. How about Nikola Knezovic, who was a great reserve, and how about DJ Seeley? So I thought, well, is California going to win any games? Yeah, they have. <laughs> and they got a chance if they win today to get in that conversation to get back to the NCAA tournament. It's unbelievable. Well, they're knotted up right now. Momo drew the defense. Fog shot blocked by Gutierrez. Punched out by Camp. Gutierrez. Offensive foul is called. And it's Momo Jones who got his way. That's number five on Gutierrez. Heavy play, though, by, by Lamont Momo Jones. I think that's the only play. I was surprised. Here's the block, the punch out. And I was a little surprised that Jorge just didn't stop and shoot a jumper. Well, it looked like to me he was there. You know what? It looked like Momo. There he is. Looks like, it looked like to me on the replay he was there. That's a good play by Momo Jones. It's an that's excellent play. Is, right there. You bet. You bet. It's an excellent, it's a heady play by a guy that's been said, well, I'm out of control, I make mistakes. Well, you know what? He just made really a, a terrific defensive play. So going to the bench with 25 points, but you're talking about your leader. And a guy who is just a gutsy, heady performer in Jorge Gutierrez. And so with Sanders Bryson out, Gutierrez out, they're going to have to rely on some young players to come in and finish this game. Two minutes and 13 seconds to go. Game tied at 83. You've got a freshman in Crab. He shows that he can score. A freshman in Solomon out there and a freshman in Bach Bach. Well, definitely the focal point now for California is going to be Camp and Crab when they come down the floor and see if they can do anything with it. Unbelievable move. High off the glass that time by Momo Jones. Yeah, unblocked. Guy, is, is he been just magnificent here in the second half? Yeah, how about an 18-point game? And then Lavender had the ball and a collision and a foul. And it comes against the Bears with a minute 40 to play in overtime. And it's Lavender going to the going to the free throw line. And he did it earlier. He's only got the two points, but he hit two free throws late in regulation. And remember Arizona doing this without Derek Williams, who did foul out of this game with just 12 points but 18 rebounds. So it is a total team effort. For the Wildcats, Momo Jones, he has done it offensively. There you see Williams. He's got the ice in the hand after fouling out in this game with a double-double. Now Arizona looking to take sole 
command of first place in the Pac-10 Conference. And no question will be the team to beat down the stretch if they can get by this one. Washington lost today with four losses. UCLA has three. California with four. And Sean Miller has to be proud of his guys the way they've come back to tie it in regulation without Derek Williams at the end. And they're trying to find a way to win here in overtime. So another double-figure scoring night for Crab, but that might say it all if you're a Cal fan because you were right there. You thought you had this one in regulation. That's Mercury Sanders Fryson. He had a nice ball game and then fouled out late. And that changes the way Mike Montgomery can play. Especially at the defensive end. As Parham has made some big, big shots. And here you've got Jorge Gutierrez, who's fouled out of the game. He's got 25 points. You've got Mercury Sanders Fryson. Really, they're the guys, the glue to this team. They're both sitting on the bench, fouling out. And California would be a Herculean effort if they could find a way to come back and win this. How about that? You're down just two with a minute 27 to play. So it's been Parham, two guys from New York, and Momo Jones. You look at the numbers on Jones. He's had another big game. And, he, and the thing about him, he's automatic for the foul line. 12 of his 19 have come in the second half in the overtime session. Cal needs a stop, and they need it now. They trail by two. Arizona will take their time. Shot clock to 10. Call the foul down. Here's the tough one. Loose, and Cal gets their stop. Be a good idea to wait for Camp now to come down the floor and see if California can feature Harper Camp or Crab. Crab want he definitely wants the ball. He got bumped. He's tied at 87. How about this Allen Crab? I mean, you think this guy was playing his uh, 50th Pac-10 game. I mean, he just, I saw him early in the year. It's not the same player. Not the same guy at all. And the way the guy. That, a Abdul Rahim, yep. he, he was player of the year in the Pac-10 conference as a freshman. A top pick of the he was not a, He was the Great player of the, the year as a freshman. That's a player. Yes. <laughs> Pretty good. Graduated the NBA, had a heck of a career, now an assistant coach or front office personnel man in the Sacramento Kings organization. All right. I I don't know. I think if you're Arizona, you got a little differential, not much. You're on the road. Run it all the way down, see if you can win it at the end. They're running it with Solomon Hill as the point. Well, and Hill for three. three. Rebound to the floor, Arizona. 12 yeah. seconds remaining. Yeah, California couldn't get it off, Jim. They had their shot. They couldn't get it off. Momo Jones has not given it up. Momo for the win. Bach Bach has it. And Crab, a chance to win it. We'll see you in a second overtime. Make sure now that Santa Clara and USF hold the game. <laughs> because there's another overtime here in Berkeley. Amazing. What an effort by this Cal Bears team. With two primary performers on the bench after fouling out. And this unit stays in it. How about the defense? Well, don't forget, against Stanford a year ago, Momo Jones banked it in the win there. I thought he almost did it again. And California could not get the first one. I'll tell you what really surprised me was Solomon Hill shooting it early in the clock. I thought, I thought that they'd run it all the way down, try to take the last shot. They still got the last shot. They got the rebound. But here we go, double overtime. So knotted at 87. And some primary names out of this game. For Arizona, no Derek Williams. He fouled out and waits. So here's the turning point in the ball game. When you look at where the game was at the time, Cal trailing in this game, and then the intentional foul happened. And then Crab gets going. And he really got going. And then, and then all of a sudden, you get Brandon Smith, Gutierrez, they're stealing the ball, making plays. But I think that yeah, I think it, you made a good point. I thought that intentional foul turned things because don't forget Arizona did have a nine-point lead early in the second half. 
It was a game change because at the time of that foul, it was 59-54 in favor of Arizona. And Cal kind of utilized that a little bit. It stopped the game because the, the officials have to make a decision. It stops the game, takes any momentum away. Then you hit the free throws. You get the call going your way. And Cal has really ridden that way. But they also thought they had this game won possibly in regulation, but couldn't close. And Arizona, in my opinion, felt they had the game won in the first overtime and let California come back because Alan Crabb just would not be denied. I mean, he just... I mean, it looks like to me that he just, just he's just saying, guys, just get me the basketball because I'm going to make a play. All right, buckle yourselves in. Overtime number two is underway, and Arizona wins the tap. Jones, Perham, also on the floor, Horn. He has hit a three in this game. Hill can shoot the three, and Perry is out there. That's the five for Arizona. Derek Williams has fouled out. Contributing. Well, Solomon, don't forget, he was a high school teammate of Crab. They probably had a pretty good high school team. But look at the block from behind to get it off the glass and recapture the ball and get possession and draw the foul. I think this is another player for California. Has not seen a whole lot of action, but I really think Richard Solomon, he's got a great look for him in future years to be a hallmark for the Bears. He's very active, he's got to mature, get a little bit stronger, but he's got very good skill. That foul on Perry was his fourth foul on one scoreboard, but fifth foul on another. So now the officials will go talk about it and try to figure out what is correct. Is Perry out? Another great one coming up with West Coast Conference action. So you won't want to turn away. And oh, this has been a crazy night of basketball. And, and if you're wondering, Richard Solomon at, at the line is about a 55% free throw shooter. It's usually one of two, which he did there. But does give California a one point lead. And back in the zone go the Bears. Jones. Runs the point again, and he's got the basketball. Lavender can shoot it. He's got the ball now, number 24. Well, they're definitely backing off of Lavender. He's a good shooter, but they're not guarding him that close. That's right here. He's open. Almost stripped by Crab. Shot clock. Shot clock. You better recognize. Perrin to Lavender. He lets fly. A big three for Brendan. Lavender. He's got five in this one in Arizona, up 90 to 88. And when they score 80 or more, they're 10 and 0 this season. Crab. That's a tough lean in. Can't get it to go down. Offensive rebound. Camp. Basket. Go Arizona. How do you like it? Harper Camp with a huge rebound. And great presence to get it out. That's the first. That's the first one Crabs missed in a long time. But look at Camp, right place at the right time. That could have gone either way oh, too. Either Definitely way. could have gone the other way. And it was Solomon Hill underneath. He went down, but the whistle went against Arizona for the lead on the free throw. Harper Camp, a busy night. 28 in the game. And the Bears go up one. Yeah, Camp's got, what, 28. Crab is what? He's got, like, 26. 23 for now. Oh, 23 for now. Gutierrez had 25 and fouled out. And it's just a great out. game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Inside Haas Pavilion, the lead has exchanged hands throughout this half into the overtime in Cal with a 91-90 advantage. 
327 to play in this one with Dan Bellamini. I am Jim Cozumore. It's one of the great games in the Pac-10. Yeah, now. great. Now just a, an unbelievable game in the Pac-10 conference, and it's a shame somebody's going to have to lose this game. Both teams have played extremely well. But California trying to make a statement here tonight. A win against a nationally ranked opponent would go a long way in terms of NCAA hopes. So Arizona just trying to seal the deal. Lamont Jones from deep again. And that was a long three. NBA range, and he missed long. Sean Miller, head coach at Arizona, had the arms up in the air saying, hey, we just got out of a timeout. What are we squeezing that trigger for? Under three minutes to play in the overtime. Crab for Smith and now Camp. Got fouled by Perham going up. Upper Camp earns free throw. You know what it is? It's attention to detail. It's understanding where you want to go with the ball late in the game. And I thought Brandon Smith passed up a shot. You know why? Because he said, it's not my place to take this shot. I'm going to give it a Harper Camp inside. He's great with his back to the rim. And then see if he can make something happen. So the lead was 92-90. 2.46 left. Second overtime session. And for some of these Cal players like that one, Harper Camp, you got to wonder just how they're feeling. They have been on the floor a long time. Brandon Smith, same thing. Gutierrez is fouled out. So is Sanders Bryson. They're on the side and can only watch. Alan Crabb has been on the floor a long time in this game. Well, to counter that point, if you're 19 and in great shape, Maybe you could play two or three games. Great move by Jones. So oh, took man. it in the middle. I don't think he traveled. I think that was a solid move. Jim thought he traveled. I, I don't think so. Extra no, 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 no. Came to a jump stop. Good play. You like the jump stop. I thought he took the hop to get there. And Jones is starting to carry this Arizona team. Brings him to it in one. Crab, double team, and a foul. Now Jones has to be careful. Just walk away. You do not want to get a technical foul in this situation. We'll see it. Did he walk on this possession? No, he didn't. Did a little jump stop, a little hop skip. I kind of, kind of like it. That's uh, a European move. No, it's, a, it's a, kind of a Rutgers Park in New York. Is it? Oh, yeah. They come to that little jump stop and float it up. And Crab missing on the first. He'll have another one coming. So now it becomes a game at the foul line. Stanford, uh, Cal, uh, looking at this one at 24-33 in the game, and he splits the pair. Grab. So Mike Montgomery looking at, what do you do a, a coach in this circumstance? 2-10 left, second overtime, you're up two, and you got three freshmen out there. Well, you, you, you hope and you pray <laughs> that they go up in a hurry. Although Crab sure doesn't play like a freshman. California rotating fairly well. Now see what they go. I, I, I think, I thought that was a very heady play by, by Smith. That was one of the few occasions where Momo Jones got a little bit out of control. Tried to split the defense here, Jim, right in this move. And, you know, definitely, that was, you know, good job to fall back. Why not? Derek Williams did it earlier in the game and got the call. Now Brandon Smith gets it. And the foul on Momo Jones. He has four personals in this one. Also with four, Solomon Hill. He's on the floor defending Bach Bach right now. Crap. He stopped in front of the defender. And Hill just muscled it out of there, then chased it down. Arizona down two. Momo. An open three for the lead. Perham is giving Arizona a 95-94 advantage. What a play by Hill, though, to come in the middle that time and find an open player on the outside. Perham delivers again. Perham has been so tough inside and outside in this game. Cam offhand, and Cal wrestles the lead. You can do it, I can do it. Timeout. See if Mike Montgomery called the timeout. Looks like he called it. 
certainly struggled in the overtime session when it comes to shooting the long ball. No question. They have, but uh, they've made up for that by, by driving to the rim, getting to the foul line, and they seem to make the big three when they need it. They are big to stand at Haas Pavilion. 57.7 seconds remaining second overtime. Pal one-point advantage. This is Momo Jones. And the Bears are going to stay in the zone, Jim. They're going to stay in that zone. Oh, and they can steal. 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 Now back it out. And if you're Arizona, no need to foul. You you're play good defense. You will get the ball back if you can get it off the glass on a miss. Timeout taken. Brandon Smith had picked up the dribble. Didn't have anywhere to go. And he was right in front of Mike Montgomery. And so he signaled for the timeout. With 31 seconds remaining in this one. The shade under 31 seconds remaining. And the shot clock at 21 seconds right now. Cal, this is as big of a possession as you're going to get. Yeah, it's, yeah. Huge, it's huge for both teams. But for California, if they're going to seal the deal, they, they have to find a way to get Harper camp the ball or Crab coming off the screen. I don't think anybody else shoots the ball for California. You know, obviously, if somebody's wide, wide open underneath, you're going to take it. For an air game late, it hits some big shots, but... The miss at the buzzer. A late tip in gets it. Yeah, Reeves Nelson made a big, big tip against him. And, you know, Reeves kind of, he's had a pretty good year for UCLA. Reeves Nelson's a very good player. And that uh, came out big with that tip in to beat California. And that was a backbreaker. But for Cal right after that, two nights later, they were in Southern California. Got a huge road win at SC. And that's what has started their four-game win streak right now. So good resilience. And here they are fighting in, an, in a double overtime game with the ball leading 96-95. And, and you see Sanders, Fryson, and Gutierrez on the bench. So 10-second differential. Well, there's your guy. That's what he wanted the ball. He just couldn't find a way. And the other fast one, unbelievable. The Bears get it off and score. Richard Solomon, offensive rebound, put back good, and the Bears up 98-95. Well, you knew Richard Solomon had a big, big upside happening. And here it is, Richard Nelson, Brazilian offensive rebound. Uh, uh, Richard Solomon, offensive rebound, put back. And Cal with a three-point lead in the second overtime. And I don't think Arizona, <coughs> they were in their position, don't forget, in regulation. Arizona, again, remember they were three down with about 20, same, same situation. They went and, and they scored a two. So... They don't need to go for the three unless you get unless you get an opportunity shot. You've got plenty of time. They had this circumstance when Momo went to the baseline, hit a runner, and was fouled by Mark Curry Sanders Bryson. Ten now, seconds remaining. And now, now you gotta go for a three. Now it'd be well, he did take that. And he was open. And it? he has tied it at 98 with five seconds left. Mike Montgomery says send it in and go down the floor. Unbelievable. Alan You've got Crab. time. You've got time. If it goes. Are you kidding? Me? Unreal. Momo Jones, did he hit a huge one? Gets a three to tie. We're going to overtime. Again. Alan Crabb. Guys just don't want to be denied in this game. They're just saying, you know what? We got it. We're going to leave it all on the floor. And as I said earlier, it's a shame someone has to lose this game. I mean, that both teams have, have just given everything they've got. Solomon at 6'10". Will jump center for Cal. And he'll go up against 6'7". Jamel Horn, but it is Arizona who wrestles the ball away, and they immediately get it to Momo Jones, who is having a whale of a night. Hitting big shot after big shot. But that third overtime, they pop the cork on it. Perum. Shot blocked and a whistle. And a foul on Richard Solomon as he came over and got a piece of it. Boy, that was an attack mood. Move that time from the outside by Kevin Perum. Now, this is against the zone. And definitely some contact right there as Solomon went for the block. So Perum will get to the foul line. He has been big all evening. And let's see if he can continue to do damage at the foul line. You know, there have been a lot of big guys, big players, big names that are coming up in this one. But Kevin Parham off the bench, well, he has done it at both ends of the floor and at the offensive end, inside where he's hit some big shots, going back to regulation. 
and he's hit some long balls as well. This guy's been as effective a player coming off the bench as well, we have seen in the game. Well, I've seen Parham quite a bit, and you got to think for most teams he would start. I mean, he's that good. But has accepted his role and has given Sean Miller and the Wildcats just a, a super six man to come in and, and, uh, and do some damage. He splits the pair. Camp knocks a man over, and an offensive foul is called against Harper Camp on Cal's first possession of the third overtime step. And, and there's Parham again. Watch Parham. The guy is really smart and understands the game. He's got a great feel and knack for basketball. He just knows how to play. We'll point out that on our graphic, this is overtime two. It doesn't come in overtime three. We are in a third overtime session, and one minute of it has now gone by. And don't forget, you get you get an extra timeout on every overtime. So coaches do pick up extra timeouts as the overtimes occur. Well, that's just great ball. Look at that. Oh, oh man. man. Sadi came like out of nowhere, swatted it off the window, and the Bears have it down one. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Missing on the baseline. Now transition. Perham to Jones. Circus shot. Back tapped in Cal uh, California. Can't chase it down. Arizona, second shot in the third overtime. Yeah, and the Bears may be feeling it right now. You could tell on that on that rebound, not a lot of California players were going full speed after the ball. The guys have to be tired out there. They have to be in the white shirts. Right now, Solomon Hill is trying to point to Jones and say, go to the basket. And finally, Jones did, and a foul comes against Richard Solomon. That's the third foul on Solomon. Well, again, Momo Jones from the point. This ball almost went in. Didn't look like it had a chance to go, but he had a little backspin on it, and it nearly fell. Plus, Jones, an 86% free throw shooter, will get to the foul line. Arizona, 18 of 23, free throw in this game, and he misses the first. Can't remember him missing many. No. But what a time to do it. He's been a one-man wrecking crew. Since late in regulation and into the overtimes, he makes the second, and he's going to get a chance to get a breather as Jordan Mays replaces him. And, and don't forget, Jordan Mays was made three threes in the first half himself. And they'll probably try to get Jones back for, for offense, get Mays in there for defense, although Mays is very, very effective in the first half. Grab for Smith, and a three! Talk about big shot for California. Courageous by Smith to knock that one down. The lead back to the Bears. Both teams over the century mark. Parham getting inside. And he lays it in over the taller freshman, Richard Sodoman at 6'10", but he couldn't stop Parham at 6'6". From this fantastic game at Haas Pavilion in our third overtime, where Arizona leads 101, uh, excuse me, 102 to 101. What a night of college basketball in Northern California. Yeah, it's huh? been unbelievable. And and certainly, you know, California was ready for the Wildcats when they came in. Arizona on top of the Pac-10. First time they've been in first place since late in March of 2005. They're playing like champions tonight. And so is California. California needs a signature win to get in that NCAA uh, tournament talk. And a lot of their guys have fouled out. Bryson and Gutierrez, but Camp has it. And, and, and they got it to the great timeout because you get it to your money player clutch and he delivers and great execution with beautiful spacing execution spacing and getting him the ball you got that right and all of a sudden california with a lead 103 102 kind of like they've done it before Perron on the floor horn can shoot the three as well and now it's momo jones shot clock at 10. jones who hit the three in the second overtime to send it 
for the third overtime. And California gets that stop. Now give this California Bears team credit. Three freshmen on the floor. Two important regulars have fouled out. And Cal ain't going away. No, they're not going away, but they have to find a way now to just have patience. Try to look for Harper. He's right over there. See if you can find Camp coming off a screen. Well, yeah. That's a tough shot. That's a tough one. Well, Solomon kept it alive with the rebound down the wild cats all the outlet. Hit the back of Fog, but came right to the cats. And it's Momo. Well, talk about, yeah, talk about a fortuitous bounce. The ball went right off an Arizona player's foot. But it got to the right player, and that was Momo Jones, and he was electrifying to take it all the way to the rim. How about this? Arizona up by one. Look at and this. He blew an open layup. Solomon lost it out of bounds, and Arizona will have it. I think Brandon didn't. He, he didn't realize that no one was on him. I think he was expecting some pressure, and he turns the corner and lost some elevation that time. And that is a fatigue miss by Brandon Smith right there. He lost elevation off his right foot and just could not get it home. Cal is asked to get another stop, trailing by one. A difference on the shot in game clocks, about eight seconds. Perum fell down. Who's got the foul? It is on Cal. And the foul must have occurred prior to the contact on Harper Camp, because it looked like Camp was there. But let's see, yeah, they get a foul there, a reach strong. And here he is again. What an addition for Sean Miller, as he has had to find some others tonight. Derek Williams, who still was impressive and helped Arizona's cause with an 18 rebound night and a double-double. But he's been out of the ball game on fouls for a long time. And it's the bench that has come up, including this man, Kevin Parham. Seems like about an hour ago that Gutierrez, Bryson, and Derek Williams fouled out of this game. Well, oh, that's a big, big, two big ones by Parham. He, he can't do any more than he's done tonight. Parham's been sensational. You still, if you're California, now it, Arizona was in this position, but the Bears really don't need a three, but it looks like they're they're trying to run their motion to get one. A two is fine. And a reach in that will stop the clock with 12.6 seconds remaining. And Harper Camp will have free throws, so that's important. Clock stop, get a chance to shoot some free throws. you got to make them, but then you take a look at... Well, the other side of the floor, and who are the bad free throw shooters? Are not, not many for Arizona. They lead the conference in free throw shooting. So they, they have, and certainly Momo Jones is an 88, 86% free throw shooter. So, Rattler that goes down for Camp. Now the question for California, if Camp can get this one down, obviously if he misses, you got to look to foul right away. But if he gets this one down, do you try to steal for a couple of seconds before you fall? Well, now you got to foul that. Unless you get the rebound. You got the rebound. Ten seconds left. And Camp, this is a two-point try. And Arizona comes away with it. And then a foul with 4.8 seconds left. Arizona up two. And free throws will come. Well, Harper Camp had a good look at it. He definitely had a shot at it to tie. And the Bears did a great job to rebound the ball. It looked like Brandon Smith got it. And Camp, who faces up well, and that one really wasn't that close. Good rebound by, it looked like it was Fogg who got the rebound. Now, Arizona's a very good free throw shooting team. It's a double bonus, and they can seal the deal here. Got to say, though, it's been one of the great games in the Pac-10 Conference. And both teams have been sensational. They really have, and we've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's a shame there's going to be a loser in this game, but... I'd say the players gave everything they had in this game, Jim. Everything. They left it all on the floor. And if Kyle Falk can get this one down, Arizona is all alone in first place in the top 10. Well, they still got a shot at it. Doors open. Got to go three. Are you going to foul if you're Arizona? They're gonna, and, and they, they do, do. They do foul with one second left in this one. And so two free throws will come for Brandon Smith. 
And there's always that debate. Do you foul well, here, or do you he, not foul? Well, let me just tell you, with one second to go and they're down three, you've got to make the first one. Of utmost importance. All right, right now, so now, now here, in my opinion, I, I don't know. I think making both is, is not going to help nothing. you. I think you got to look to miss this one and crash it. I think if you're California, you don't need a three, you need a two, but you got to miss it. And he does miss it, and Parham gets the rebound, and the horn sounds, and this one is over. And it was a great, great college basketball game. A tremendous game. Really, congratulations to Arizona and California. An unbelievable game. I've done a lot of them in the Pac-10 Conference, Jim, over the years. This ranks right up at the top. Tremendous.